to need something is to push down or pull on it. This word is almost always used when describing the process of preparing bread dough. The simple form of the verb is need. The past tense is needed, and the past participle is also needed. After mixing together the flour, salt, sugar, and yeast, dough forms. The dough is kneaded and then allowed to rise before it goes into the oven. She's kneading the dough. If the dough is too sticky as you knead it, add some more flour. Anyone who makes bread knows how important it is to knead the dough. Kneading dough is not that hard to do, but you can use a food processor or bread machine to do the work for you. You can also use the word need when describing the behavior of a cat. Cats need people and each other. No one knows exactly why they do this. It's probably an expression of contentment. A cat needs by pushing its paws down on a person or on another cat. Knee. The knee is a part of the leg. It's between your thigh and your shin. It's the joint that allows you to bend your leg. It has a kneecap which protects the joint. A person gets on his knees when he goes to the ground. A doctor checks your knees when you go in for an examination. Knee pads help protect your knees. She's wearing knee pads. When a man proposes marriage, sometimes he gets down on one knee. He got down on his knees to get some water from the river. Some people get down on their knees when they pray to God. A person who is weak-kneed is nervous or weak, or that person lacks courage. Kneel. A person kneels when he or she goes down to the ground on the knees. The pictures below show what kneeling looks like. This man is kneeling. He's kneeling down to get some water. These women are kneeling beside a mill and grinding some grain to make bread. Many people kneel when they pray. Sometimes people kneel before a king or a queen. If you have a job that requires you to kneel all day, it's a good idea to wear knee pads to protect your knees. Knife. A knife is a tool or a utensil used for cutting, eating, and self-defense. This word is usually used as a noun. The singular form is knife. The plural is knives. 
there are many different kinds of knives. A butter knife is used for spreading butter and for cutting soft objects. A knife with a serrated edge is used for cutting hard objects, such as a loaf of bread. Steak knives are used for cutting through a tough piece of meat. A butcher knife is used for cutting big pieces of meat. Many people store their knives in a knife block. A pocket knife folds up and fits in your pocket. I always carry a Swiss Army knife because it has many useful tools on it. A dagger is a type of knife used for fighting, or it can be ornamental and put on display. A putty knife is used for working around the house. It's very useful when fixing walls or when scraping things. Knob. A knob is that thing you pull when opening a door or a cabinet. It's usually round. The knob on this door is really old. It's an old doorknob. To open the door, twist the knob and pull. The knob on this cabinet fell off. I have to fix the knob. A knob is also found on electronic devices for volume and for tuning. To find a radio station, you turn the tuning knob. To turn the volume up or down, you turn the volume knob. The volume knob on some radios turns the radio off. This amplifier has several different knobs. Knock. The word knock is usually a verb. Use this word to describe the sound your hand makes when hitting a door or a window to gain someone's attention. There's someone knocking on the door. I knocked on the door, but there was no answer. A police officer knocked on the car window to see if the person inside the car was okay. You'll have to knock a little louder. You can also use this word as a noun. There was a knock on the door. The knock on the door wasn't loud enough for the people inside to hear it. If you add knock to the preposition over, you get knock over which happens when someone pushes something or another person, intentionally or accidentally. Deborah knocked over some glasses in the store and they broke. Those kids are going to knock something over if they aren't careful. Football players try to knock each other over when they play the American game of football. Knot. When rope or string is twisted or tied, it sometimes forms a knot. This picture shows what a knot looks like. Some knots are useful or necessary. Sailors use knots when tying ropes on ships or sailboats. Campers use knots when securing tents and tarps. 
A good solid knot will keep your shoes tied. However, some knots are not intended and they can cause problems. Bob's Christmas lights are all knotted together in a box. It will take a long time to untangle them. Cindy's unbrushed hair is all in knots. I can't get this knot undone. I'll have to cut the string. It's also possible to use the word knot for things other than ropes and string. Traffic is in a knot this afternoon due to the construction of a new interchange on Highway 94. Ralph says his stomach feels like it's all in knots because he has a big test this morning. Jose and Glenda have decided to tie the knot. No. To know is to have an idea, understanding, or information about something. This is a very common verb in English. The simple form is know. The past tense is knew. The past participle is known. These sentences and questions are in the present tense. How many people do you know in your class? Do you know where the capital of Belgium is? Tony knows how to speak Spanish. Vera doesn't know the answer to the question. The leaders of the city know what they want to do. Not much is known about how the fire started. These sentences and questions are in the past tense. When Chen lived in Shanghai, he knew everyone on his street. Did you know there was going to be a test today? No one knew what to do for the man having the heart attack. We didn't know Shamso came from such a big family. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. These sentences and questions are in perfect tenses. Pedro and George have known each other since they were six years old. How long have you known about their relationship? Rena had never known who her birth mother was until just recently. The word no is used with infinitives and gerunds. We need to know more about what happened. I want to know how to fix this. Do you want to know the answer? Knowing how to speak another language is a good skill. Knowing that you have a problem is an important step towards dealing with it. Knowing you are about to die can be a difficult experience for some people, but a blessing for others.
the word no shows up in a few different expressions. Well, what do you know? She's such a know-it-all. We were never in the know. It's been nice knowing you. Knowledge. The word knowledge is used to talk about things that you learn or know. It's especially useful when talking about school activity. A student goes to school for knowledge. A student gains knowledge in school. A student possesses a certain amount of knowledge after attending school. The word knowledge is a noun. It refers to the accumulation of information, ideas, and experience necessary for one's personal development. Katie has enough knowledge about business to open up her own store. Dave doesn't have enough knowledge to fix his computer. The most important thing a person can possess is knowledge. Knowledge is the key to success. The students applied their knowledge in figuring out a solution to the problem. The word knowledge is also used when recalling the facts related to a situation. Joe has no knowledge of what happened yesterday at work. Is there any new knowledge about the accident? News reporters provided some knowledge about the man accused of the crime. The adjective form of knowledge is knowledgeable. Tina is very knowledgeable when it comes to real estate. Some very knowledgeable people are working on solutions to this problem. Knuckle. A knuckle is that part of the hand where the fingers join the hand. This word is usually used in the plural form, knuckles. Knuckles look like this. If you make a fist and use it to hit someone, the knuckles do the most damage. If you don't shut up, I'm going to give you a knuckle sandwich. Kevin scraped his knuckles against the pavement when he fell off of his skateboard. Can you crack your knuckles? Least. The word least is the opposite of most. It describes an amount that is smaller than other amounts. Of the three choices, she likes the orange one the least. Joe puts the least amount of effort in getting his work finished. He's very lazy. That was one of the least interesting classes I have ever taken. It was very boring. Finding a new job is the least of her problems. She has many other problems to deal with. The least amount of pain and suffering 
happened at the beginning of the war. Most of the war's devastation was felt towards the end of it. The preposition at is often placed in front of least to form at least. This is a kind of idiom that we use to describe some advantage despite a difficulty. Tom has a difficult job. At least it's interesting. Their company went out of business. At least everyone received one final paycheck. The party was held under a very cloudy sky. At least it didn't rain. He lost all of his money and his house, but at least he still has his donkey. Leave. To leave is to go away from a place. The word depart is a synonym for leave. The simple form of this verb is leave. The past tense is left. The past participle is left. What time does your plane leave? Teresa is leaving next Friday for Europe. What time do you leave for work in the morning? What time do you leave and what time do you get there? I'm leaving now. Bye. This word is also often used when asking that something or someone remain unchanged or without assistance. You can leave that there. Don't move it. We left our door unlocked. How long can you leave your kids alone? Please leave the chicken out of the freezer so that it can thaw. Don't leave the milk out of the refrigerator for too long. We're going to leave this situation alone. Please leave me alone. As a verb, leave is used for many different kinds of situations that involve a major change in a person's life. Bertha is leaving her husband. Our supervisor is leaving at the end of May. The recession left many people without a job. A hurricane left many people without homes to return to. Soldiers left the village in ruins. You leave me with no choice but to fire you. The word leaves is the plural form for the word leaf. The leaves on the trees are just emerging from their buds. Most leaves are green, but you can also find leaves that are purple, yellow, and even black. I have to rake up all of these leaves on the ground. When leave is used as a noun, it refers to a period of absence from work or school. 
Rachel is taking a leave of absence because she's going to have a baby soon. Mark is on leave from his regular assignment. Soldiers in the military are temporarily on leave following a period of service. A soldier who walks away from his or her position without permission is AWOL, absent without leave. Lecture. The word lecture is used when someone speaks about a topic or a subject at great length. Teachers and professors lecture, but a lecture can also come from a person in a position of authority, such as a parent or a police officer. A police officer pulled over the car and lectured the driver on the importance of safe driving. The police officer gave the driver a lecture. John's father gave him a lecture on being a responsible person. He lectured his son. Our professor's lectures are so interesting that many students record them and listen to them later. This lecture hall holds over 200 people. The teacher's lecture on Hamlet seemed to go on forever. It was so boring. Lectures found on TED are very popular. You can listen to and learn from the world's greatest thinkers on that website. Tina got upset when her husband tried to lecture her on how to be a good wife. Left. The word left has many different meanings and uses in English. Left is the opposite of right. Make a left turn at the intersection. Bob uses his left hand for almost everything. He's left-handed. Your heart is located on the left side of your body. The big toe on my left foot hurts today. Sam is a lefty. The word left is also the past tense of the verb leave. Lisa left class early today. The plane left an hour ago. The businessman left a small tip for the waitress. You left your coat at the movie theater. Sometimes we use left to indicate an amount of time, money, or some material that remains after it is used. There's not much time left to prepare for our trip. How much milk is left? She doesn't have much money left after paying her monthly bills. Sometimes the word left refers to political movements. For instance, Socialism and communism are considered to be on the left. Capitalism and fascism are considered to be on the right. The far right wing of the Democratic Party is in favor of universal health care in the United States. Fidel Castro was the leader of a leftist political movement in Cuba. People on the left generally favor a more equal distribution of wealth among the general population. Leg 
we use our legs for standing, walking, swimming, kicking, and running. There are many different ways to talk about a person's legs. This word has both literal and figurative meanings. Tom's got strong legs. Sarah's got nice legs. I've got a cramp in my leg from running. Zebediah's legs gave out from underneath him after he finished the marathon. When lifting something heavy, don't lift with your back, lift with your legs. After a long illness, it's important to get back on your legs. Sheila's dress shows a lot of leg. The word leg is also used for things that aren't human legs, but function in the same manner as a leg. A table has four legs. Chairs also have four legs. A stool might have three legs. Golf courses have fairways that are laid out in the shape of a dog leg. A rally in the stock market has legs if it still has some strength and momentum. A company that doesn't have a leg to stand on lacks capital, or it lost all of its financial support. The last leg of a tour or a race is the last stage or the last part. In a three-legged race, pairs of contestants each have one leg tied to that of a partner. Legal. The word legal is used when talking about activities permitted or regulated by law. It's legal to own a gun in the United States. It's legal for people above the age of 21 to drink alcohol. It's not legal to have more than one spouse. That's illegal. It's not legal to drive over the speed limit. It's illegal to bribe a police officer. If you get into trouble, you might need to get legal advice from a lawyer. You can take legal action against a person or a group if you feel your rights have been violated. Legal matters are settled in court. The word legally is an adverb. In most states, you can legally get married at the age of 18. If you are 16, you need your parents' consent. It's much better to enter the United States legally than to enter and remain illegally without the proper documentation. Legend. A legend is a story about a great person or thing. Legends are passed from one generation to another, and in the retelling of the legend, Details 
or events become magnified or exaggerated over time. A legend can be an old story or it can be about recent activities. The legend of King Arthur of England is well known among students of British history. King Arthur's defense of England against Saxon invaders in the 6th century is legendary. Abraham Lincoln remains a legend in the United States for his honesty and vision as a leader. Al Capone became a legend among people living in Chicago in the 20s and 30s even though he was a ruthless gangster. Many sports fans consider the basketball player Michael Jordan a legend. He became a legend in his own time. Successful gladiators became legends during Roman times. Legible if something is legible, that means it's possible to read it. This word refers to the quality of handwriting or the words that have been printed on a piece of paper. This note is barely legible. The words written by the three-year-old boy were clearly legible. You need to learn how to write more legibly. Doctors are known to write prescriptions that are not very legible. Is this legible enough for you to read? This is illegible. Lend. The simple form of this verb is lend. The past tense is lent and the past participle is lent. The verb lend is similar to give but something that is lent is eventually returned to the original owner. You can use this word with money and objects. Can you lend me some money? I'll pay you back tomorrow. Bertha lent her sister $50. Some banks haven't been lending money the way they used to because they're afraid of losing it. Dan was lent $200, but he hasn't paid it back yet. A library will lend you books, CDs, and DVDs for learning English. You should avoid lending money to friends. That could cause problems in your relationship. Can you lend me a hand for a minute? Add ER to the word lend to form the noun lender. We need to find a lender in order to open a small business. Many lenders made bad loans to borrowers before 2008 and that has caused a lot of problems for the economy. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. Length. Use the word length to describe how long something is. This word is a noun. Vanessa doesn't like the length of her hair. She thinks it's too short. The tablecloth 
stretches across the length of the table. The length of the boat is 30 feet. The length of the trip was 400 miles. When used as a noun, length can also mean extent or degree. He'll go to any length to become successful. The lengths to which she has gone to become a gymnast have amazed everyone. Jorge says he'll go to any length to learn English well. The adjective form of this word is lengthy. The teacher demanded a lengthy research paper from each student. This book is too lengthy for me to finish it. If a movie is too lengthy, some people will leave the movie theater early. Her speech was way too lengthy. Your sentences are too lengthy. Make them shorter.